everyone, and um, here comes um, our uh, devotional on this Tuesday, uh, June 1st, 2021. And um, this day is, um, well, I, I um, wow, words just escape me this morning, don't they? Um, I just um, remember that, you know, my husband and I would have had our eighth anniversary today, and um, I am really, really thankful for the, the years that we did have, and I'm thankful that I have so many recordings of us together and that I can can listen to those and remember so many very good memories. So happy anniversary to the very best husband ever. And now, here's our devotional for this Tuesday, June 1st, 2021, entitled, God's Promise Keeps. God's Promise Keeps. Cast your bread on the surface of the waters, for you will find it after many days. Ecclesiastes 11.1 1. We must not expect to see an immediate reward for all the good we do, nor must we always confine our efforts to places and people that seem likely to reward us for our labors. The Egyptian cast his seed upon the waters of the Nile, where it might seem to be a sheer waste of corn, but in due time the blood sub subsides, the rice or other Oh, the flood subsides, the grace, rice or other grain sinks to the fertile mud, and the harvest is rapidly produced. Let us do good today to those who are unthankful and evil. Let us teach the careless and the rebellious. Unlikely waters may cover hopeful soil. Nowhere will our labor be in vain in the Lord. It is our responsibility to cast our bread upon the waters. It is up to God to fulfill the promise of you will find it. He will not let his promise fail. His good word that we have spoken will live, will be found, and will be found by us. It might not be just yet, but someday we will reap what we have sown. We must exercise our patience, or maybe the Lord will exercise it. <laughs> After many days, says the scripture, and in many instances those days run into months and years, and yet the word stands true. God's promise will keep. Let us make sure that we obey this command today and every day. Praise God. Isn't that awesome? That, you know, we just keep on serving. We keep on trusting. We keep on doing good and waiting on the Lord. And, you know, um, about, you know, doing, you know, not letting evil, you know, prevail or whatever. Um, you know, Romans 12, 21 says, you know, do not be overcome with evil, but evil overcome evil with good. Overcome evil with good. And that's hard to do sometimes. But let's ask God how we can do that. How we might be able to to be a blessing to those who might um, maybe discourage us at times. And so, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.